this is the open energy monitor level three heat pump monitoring kit it's just arrived shall we um open it and have a look at what's inside now, this is the one for uh, monitoring every aspect of your heat pump installation um, should include all kinds of crazy stuff right here we go oh this is nice look this is the uh, electricity monitor that records um, all of the power being used by your by your heat pump and um, various pumps and what have you in your uh, in your installation and um, this would be installed into the um, the distribution unit um, what do they call it the consumer unit that is part of the installation of the heat pump normally a, a heat pump gets its own small consumer unit and this is used to measure all the power passing through that and as you can see they've uh, they're actually pre-wired it's, it's a modbus cable and they pre-wired it to the modbus to usb interface and then this will be plugged into the um, open energy monitor uh, device itself so, so let's see what else we've got ethernet cable always appreciated uh, oh look here's the business end look this is the the device itself Emon Pi 2. Um, now I strongly suspect that's a Raspberry Pi in there. And then you've got various sensor inputs and Ethernet connections and USB. And there's a uh, little OLED readout there. And um, that's actually the our home postcode. And then we have an interface, a uh, interfaces for all kinds of different um different uh inputs usb c there probably for power i guess and uh some form of wireless interface maybe for uh connecting to wireless sensors around the around your home looks good nice device feels nice aluminium case very good what else have we got in here ah this is the uh, the home um, temperature and humidity monitor. So you mount this essentially like a, um, a thermostat, and it uh, allows the system to record the actual temperature achieved in your home, and then that information can be used to um, to figure out whether the right amount of energy is being put into your to your home and how that correlates to the performance of the of the heat pump. Uh, uh, right, here we have a, this is the, I think I might leave this in here because it looks rather complicated. This is the um, flow and heat monitor for the, um, the flow and return pipes to your heat pump. And you can see again this is all pre-wired which is nice um, so these are interfaces and converters and what have you to allow these to be connected to the uh, PyMon the EMON Pi 2 um, and so yeah that looks good I'm liking that everything's pre-wired that's pretty cool we've got a Piece of pipe work. We're on the 20, 28 mil here, so this will this allows the temperature sensor to be put in in line with the with the water as it um, flows back to the heat pump. Uh, 
more brass fittings. This has got power supply written all over it. Let's have a look. Yeah, looks like a USB-C power supply to me. And what else do we have in here? This looks intriguing. I wonder what this is. That. This is the uh, direct hot water sensor. Uh, I think what this allows you, what, what this is doing for us is uh, it allows the the uh, system to understand when um, uh, hot water is being generated by the, sorry, when the hot water is being heated in your tank, um, rather than heating the radiators. So it can make a distinction between hot water in the in the tank and heating your home with the radiators. And I think it does that by monitoring the status of the, um, the diverter valve. So if the diverter valve is powered, then the water from the heat pump is going into the cylinder to heat the hot water. And if it's not powered, then it falls back to heating the radiators. At least that's my understanding. So, okay, a nice, uh, nice box of stuff. Um, looks very promising. Liking the look of the, uh, the Emon. Pretty good. Um, we um, ordered this from Open Energy Monitor. And um, when you place your order, you tell them um, what your account is called on the system and they attach or associate the um, the E1 Pi 2 to the account straight away. So as soon as we plug this in and turn it on, it will automatically be attached to to our uh, our account, and then we'll be able to see what's going on straight away. Very impressive. Nice bit of integration, I think. Okay. Well, looks very promising. Um, this is the first time our installer has done an Open Energy Monitor configuration um, but I'm sure he's up to the job and we'll see how we go okay